Last summer I was lucky enough to get a large amount of reclaimed wood. I didn't end up paying much for it, but the biggest bonus in the whole thing was that I found out that the fellow wants to have his barn taken down. All the wood was inside of it, and just in talking to him about the barn, he said, I'd like to have it taken down. It's too close to my property line. So in exchange for taking his barn down, he's going to let me have all the wood. All he wants to keep is the tent on top. I already have plenty of that, so it's no problem. So in the next couple weeks, I'm going to get to working on this project, and I'm going to bring you along in a video showing the entire process. So let's go ahead and take a look around the outside of the barn, see what it looks like, and take a tour of the inside. Sorry about all that windy noise there. I was uh, in an open field, and I didn't have my microphone, so you just have to bear with it. We'll take a clockwise trip around the barn. The part that sticks off to the right there holds two sort of stalls where some mules were kept. The center part is the original part of the barn, and then there's the lean-to, which is where I got a majority of the reclaimed wood that I'm currently using. It was stacked up, up under the racks. There they are, and um, this originally, I think, was just used for hay storage, but then over time, a lot of lumber ended up getting stacked up and uh, luckily I ended up with it. And then the outside of the barn of course has a lot of weathered boards on it also. But the interior is where the jewels are because all the wood inside has been protected. It's all nailed down. It's nice and flat. It will be quite a bit of work to get it all taken apart. I'm doing it all by hand. I don't have any equipment so it'll be semi-dangerous and very time consuming but I think it'll make for a nice video and a lot of good wood for future projects. This is the upstairs of the barn and as you look up you can see that the roof really has a lot of nice pieces. Those are sort of some uh, I guess about two inch by five inch rafters and um, then of course all the framework, the sheathing on the outside and the floors. It's really going to make for a lot of good wood. And These are two shots of those interior those stalls I mentioned that stuck off the right side of the main part of the barn. This is the one on the left and then this is the one on the right. And the majority of this wood for me will be used for tabletops. So you can see there's quite a bit of uh, wood for tabletops within this barn. If you'd like to follow my channel, please click the subscribe button now and you'll be updated on all my future uploads, especially the ones where I start to take this barn apart. I'm gonna do as much detail as I can, showing all the steps in doing so. Thanks for watching.